Here at thechauffeur.com, when we review a luxury car in the UK, it can be a little bit difficult. We're either sitting in traffic on the M25 or following a tractor on a country lane. So for this review, we thought we'd do something just a little bit different. So this is the all new BMW 7 Series and we're going to be driving it over a thousand miles back to the UK. But I need to get myself a client to experience the back seats. Who do I need? I need someone with class, distinction, outstanding knowledge of luxury cars. Thanks Paul. Hi, I'm Paul and I've got the tough job of riding in the back of this 7 Series for the whole journey to see what it's got to offer the chauffeur client. So let's take a look at the changes from the outside. Not dramatically different, I hear you say, but once you start really looking at the new 7, you can tell there's so much more to it. In the front here, this massive kidney grille has dynamic slats which move. Basically, when the engine's cold, they remain closed to give the engine more heat. And when the engine's up to, up to heat, these open to give it more air. From the side, you can tell the long wheelbase by this lovely chrome strip that goes all the way down, elongates the wheelbase and you can tell by the 140 millimeters extra in the wheelbase by this lovely long Hofmeister kink, which is actually one piece. BMW are loving the fact that this is actually now one piece of chrome. We like to travel quite lightly here at thechauffeur.com. However, one big problem, but we've got a fridge, we've got a champagne cooler. Take it out. Chauffeurs don't like champagne coolers. It takes up half of my boot. We've got one, two, three, four small cases. We're struggling to get it in. If that wasn't in there, this will be 515 litres. That's five more than an S-Class. So actually, it's huge. So where do we drive the latest luxury limo on the market? Somewhere where money isn't a problem. Monaco. So it's not just a new car BMW has launched. To coincide with the new 7 Series is a redeveloped chauffeur program. For just over £1,000 a month, you get a 40,000 mile per year contract with free servicing for the first 120,000 miles. And when you do need that service, BMW promises to do it within 90 minutes. So here we are in the beautiful Monte Carlo, Monaco Bay. We've discovered that the 7 Series just fits in here. We've been mingling with all the supercars, we've driven the track, and it doesn't stand out, which I think is actually a good thing. People are just so used to seeing beautiful prestige cars here. But it's so busy, I think we need somewhere that we can open up the car a little bit more. So we headed to the French Alps to see how the 7 performs on the mountain roads. So Paul, my trusty client, how is it in the back? Yeah, it's lovely actually. It's um, very spacious, as you can expect from the 7 Series. And uh, yeah, it's um, certainly quality. We've got this huge 10 inch screen in front of us with all the multimedia. We've got a tablet here. We've got the armrest with the um, seat controls. You can control the passenger seat as well, give you more leg room. Uh, you've got all the nice sun blinds and you've got the panoramic roof. So yeah, very nice. I'm loving the, the leather and the, um, the headrest, the soft headrest. These are standard apparently on all 7 Series, we'll get these standard or long wheelbase, we'll get these lovely soft cushions, which make a massive difference. There's simply too much technology to explain in this short film, but BMW says it has 13 world firsts in the sixth generation of the 7 Series. One of my favorites is the new iDrive gesture control. There's only five gestures you can use at the moment, but BMW says that as time progresses, they will introduce more gestures. So I've got some music playing, so if I want to turn the volume up, I just wiggle my finger. And there we get music, turn it down the other way. Or if I want to change track, two fingers. A mixture of mountain roads, motorways, and city driving in the 730LD returned around 45 miles to the gallon which isn't bad considering I wasn't exactly driving like Miss Marple. BMW has introduced new levels of suspension, which offers a comfort plus mode, which makes the ride softer than you can ever imagine. So that's another eight hours and 500 miles behind the wheel of the 7 Series and you can't fault it, eight hours went like that. Um, we're still getting used to some of the gadgets and things like that, but I mean the quality, especially around the steering wheel and some of the um, 
quality of the materials used, it just shouts Bentley to me, which you can't get much better than that. So what about you, Paul? What do you think? Yeah, well, I agree, Paul. Even though that was eight hours, it was effortless. I hardly even noticed, to, to be honest. Had a nice sleep, stretched out, listened to some music, watched some television. However, there is one big thing that I will talk to you about tomorrow that I've noticed about the back of the BMW, but I'll tell you that tomorrow. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Well, I look forward to hearing about that. So anyway, day three tomorrow, we're going back to the UK. So um, I'll see you then. So on the last leg of my journey, it's certainly become clear that the new 7 has set a new benchmark in the chauffeur car market. It's literally pretty hard to fault this car, especially with the new benefits for the chauffeur industry and a price tag of £68,500 for the long wheelbase. So Paul, last night you intrigued me, you said there was something that concerned you about the, the back of the 7 Series. What is that? So along the way Paul, I've been playing with this new tablet that's in the back that uh, controls seats and air conditioning, things like that. But also in the long wheelbase, I've got this 10 inch screen in front of me that controls navigation, music, but all it's done is confuse it. I've got two different systems to control everything. It's far too confusing. I think BMW must have the technology to introduce um, something like the airlines do, bring your own device. You should be able to plug in your iPhone and Android and this screen in front will mirror uh, the, the device and just control everything. Back in Blighty with a few hours under my belt to reflect on this thousand mile journey. BMW should be proud of the new seven. However, it makes me wonder how other manufacturers will compete in the future to keep chauffeurs buying their cars. So there we go, just over a thousand miles, seven countries in two and a half days. It's been an absolute pleasure being behind the wheel of the 7 Series. When you pull it side by side against the Mercedes S350 and you look at the prices, they're almost identical. The benefits and the cost of the chauffeur programs are almost identical as well. I'm just very pleased I don't have to choose between them. Front here, this massive kidney grill. The slats open and close to give the. Um, hi there. Hi. Bonjour. <laughs> okay, so be a bit of a sip. I got sif laser light headlights here. Um, oh, I'm gonna start again. So I lost my way. Lost my way completely. Okay. So before we get behind, the this way. Hi, I'm from Sif just to see what it's got to offer the chauffeur client. A bloody cleaner in the background, these cleaners. Oh, I'm in my shot again. Thanks Paul. Hi, I'm Paul and I've got the touch to see what it's got to offer the chauffeur client. Zip back, zip, zip. I need my... So this is the BMW <laughs> Oh Gavin, you've ruined the shot. <laughs> There's always one in there. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> Makeup. Okay. Christ, south of France, bloody freezing. It was just a good company. It's a big company here. I know it's a board now, it's a company here. It's a big company. Interesting smells. Oh! It didn't feel like eight hours. I can, it just swam. It didn't swim. It's a fucking car. Change track, two fingers. Doesn't always work. Most of the time it does. There we go. <laughs> and that wasn't me this time. Anyway, there for Oh, she's just hit. Shit the wall. Oh crap, my phone. 
Yeah. I don't know. I'm a chauffeured client and I have to take my own ticket. Boom! That was a good one. Good. And it's back to the studio.